we've got one more day till Turkey Day and then kickoff. And, uh, guys, it's about 8.30, 8.45 in the morning right now here in Austin, Texas right now. Uh, I'm going to make this video, get it uploaded, and then I will get in my truck and drive back home and spend time with the family. Uh, so I want to put, put this out, my little pregame for the for the uh, Texas versus Texas A&M football game. Uh, but really, I want this to be a response to the guys who made videos. And uh, uh, these are the two Aggies, uh, you know, 12 Aggie 12s making videos. Um, NDL799, he made a vid, responded to my last one. And uh, a newer guy, Andork98, I think. Uh, all made some vids, and they're good stuff, man. And uh, so I wanted to respond to those. Um, NDL, I think you're right. I, I think uh, this is a rivalry, and um, I consider it a rivalry, and I know a lot of Longhorns would do. Um, is the OU one bigger? I think it is right now for the Longhorns fans. I think when you add in the aspect that both teams are usually competing for the conference title in that one game, I think it adds more to it. That being said, you know, Matt Brown's talked about this before, and I've said I have as well. Um, the OU rivalry is more about, I guess, hatred and, and not liking each other. Uh, you know, most of us really don't know anybody who's from Oklahoma uh, or goes to OU. It's just that's all they are, OU fans. Um, with A&M, it's a lot more of a family rivalry. Uh, you want to beat them. You want to beat them bad. Uh, but like you said, um, there's, there's families who are split down the middle between Aggies and Longhorns, friends and family. Uh, so you, usually when you go to, if you're a Longhorn and you go to an eight, go to College Station, you'll find people that you know. Same with if you come down to Austin. Uh, that's just the kind of rivalry it is, and I think it's pretty neat. I mean, when I go back home on Thursday night, uh, I'll be watching it with a split room of Aggies and Longhorns. Uh, that's just how, how, it, how it is. And so I, I, I like that about it. Um, so uh, I, agree, I, I agree with your point. Uh, if someone goes down to Midnight Yell in Austin, to put up a sign that says we're not rivals, uh, they're going out of their way, uh, which means they do care about the rivalry. Um, the way you know a rivalry is dead is when no one cares, like Baylor in Texas. Way back in the day, Texas versus Baylor was a big deal. Uh, now it's not. Texas is on a way huge better level than Baylor is. Baylor knows that. And so you don't see a lot of Texas fans or any Texas fans uh, trying to dispel the rumor of there's no rivalry between Texas versus Baylor because there's not, so no one talks about it. Uh, if you talk about it, then it's there. So that being said, uh, I want to talk to uh, the main guy. I want to talk to is Andor 98, who who did a good job trying to make some points about why he thought he he, he knew that A and M was going to beat Texas. I like the confidence in all you guys, um, but I, I got I got I got to dispel some stuff because of course I'm a Longhorns fan here. Um, you pointed out that the Aggies are good at stopping teams that are one-dimensional. Uh, but when they have a balanced offense, they struggle. But you're talking about how um, Tech is a one-dimensional offense, uh, Iowa State, one-dimensional offense, Baylor, and whatnot. And you, you took care of those teams pretty handily. Uh, but if you have a balanced attack, then you can probably beat the Aggies. Here's the deal, though. I, I like how you looked at the things, but I think you're dissecting the tree. We need to look at the forest. Uh... Texas is beating everybody. That's the thing. You can talk about how the Aggies are good good against this, not good against that, and the, the, Texas beats has beaten everyone. So it doesn't matter what kind of if you have an offense, Texas will beat you. Uh, so uh, the team that you name off like Tech and stuff like that, we've beaten them too. And the team that you've lost to, like Colorado, you use Colorado as an example of a team with a balanced offense. We beat them thirty eight fourteen here in Austin. Um, that's just the different level that Texas is on than Texas A&M right now. So, comparing the games, I agree. You guys are better at stopping a, uh, a one-dimensional offense. That being said, we're good at stopping any offense. Um, but, Texas, you're, you're right. Our running game is not the best in the world. Um, let's say I, I've, I've been a critic of it for a long time. Uh, you know, we've got about three, four backs right now. you got... Fozzie Whitaker, Trey Newton, who I think Trey's going to get the start, uh, Cody Johnson, who is the big man, and then Vondra McGee, who really has not played much this year. Um, we haven't got a running game going. And at the first of the year, it was pathetic, and we needed it bad. Uh, it came alive against OU, uh, and we've had a couple, you can hear a cut like against Baylor, we were able to run the ball well, but that doesn't really count when you do it against Baylor. Um, but 
what we've done, especially these last five games, we've been playing our best football. And I think people need to notice that. That, yes, the Aggies played great against Baylor, but they went off and on. Texas has slowly but surely gotten better week in and week out. Ever since that OU game where we really struggled, uh, we've done nothing but blow teams out. Um, but And we've done it without a solid running game. And I don't think we need it. It's one of those. It's one of those things where you you always say you need to set up, you need to run, to set up the pass, and things of that sort. Sometimes you just got to do what you're good at, and Texas is just good at throwing the football. Uh, Colt McCoy running that zone read, and the thing is, Colt can run too. Now the problem with Colt this year has has been that he's been a little more in, a little more indecisive than he was last year. Last year, if you gave him any kind of lane, he was going to take it and run. When Colt makes his mind up to run, he's going to get you 15, 20 yards. Um, but this year, he's been kind of jumping in the pocket, uh, trying to run or having a lane to run, but not really want to take it, trying to find someone downfield. Uh, when Colt makes his mind up to run, um, you know, if, if Colt gets in the 35, 40 yards rushing in the game, uh, Texas is going to be fine. So what what does A&M need to do to beat Texas? I think you guys are right. Get Colt on his back. That's how y'all beat us the, the last two times that y'all beat us, was put him on his back. If he's on, if he's on the ground, he can't throw him, because let's face it, guys. I don't think your secondary can stop our wide receivers. Jordan Shipley, Malcolm Williams, Kirkendall, Goodwin, all those guys are way better than all of your secondary. That being said, y'all talked about your receiving core. Look, I don't really know how good the Aggie receiving core is because I really hadn't got to watch much of it in their games. You guys know more about the Longhorns than I know about the Aggies because six of y'all's games wouldn't even on TV this year. I know you got Ryan Tannehill, but what I would say is that you look at it, who do you want, Jordan Shipley or Ryan Tannehill? You want Gerard Johnson or Colt McCoy? Uh, you know, I, it's just, I, I think Texas has the advantage, you know, as you go down the list. Now, running backs-wise, I think you make the argument that you guys have the better running game. And I got no problem with that. I mean, I think Christine Michael broke a 97-yard run against Baylor last week. And even though it was against Baylor, anytime you can make that kind of a run, you're a pretty good player. Him and Cyrus Gray. So Texas has to be, and you know what scares me about that is, you know, Goodson uh, ripped us apart uh, when he played. Those guys remind me of him. So I really, though, I think, you know, even though it's a rivalry game, even though it's in the hostile environment of Kyle Field, the spread is like 22 right now, and I, 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 I think Texas can win this thing by 24. Um, maybe even more. I mean, Baylor, uh, A&M's going to give us a fight. But some, you know, and and uh, Andor, he said something about how you know y- y- y'all beat Baylor really bad. You kind of find yourself, uh, dude, beating Baylor by any mo- any kind of points does not prepare you for Texas. We beat Baylor. It was forty to nothing at halftime. We played Baylor in Waco, and we shut the offense down. We won forty-seven to fourteen. Um, we and they scored all their points in garbage time. Uh, so Baylor, Baylor's pathetic, um, and A and M should have killed them as they did, and they're bowl eligible. So I, I really, if A and M were to win this game, they would have to play lights out on all sides of the ball. Texas would have to come out the sloppiest I've seen them play in years. Uh, it, it would take a perfect storm for A and M to win that game. Being said, doesn't mean you can't win. Uh, we've seen it happen before, and I think uh, NDL was right. Uh, sometimes I think Texas doesn't take A&M seriously because A&M always takes Texas seriously because A&M does want to beat Texas uh, every year. But that being said, I think the fact that y'all have beaten this team two out of three years hurts A&M. These seniors on on this Texas team are one and two against A&M. They've beaten every. They're three and one against OU, but one and two against the Aggies. They, there's been talks about this. I, I'm not just pulling this out of my butt. Um, I've heard interviews. I've heard things. The, the the seniors on this team don't want to have a losing record of A&M. <coughs> they want to make a point to take care of the Aggies this week. I think that you'll see, you will see a focused Longhorn group and see a team motivated to not even think about the national championship that's on the line or the Big 12 championship, but just to beat the snot out of the Aggies. So We'll see you guys later. Have a, have a great Thanksgiving and watch them Aggies, and help hoping the Cowboys can beat up on the Raiders, and then watch them Longhorns take care of the Aggies. We'll see you guys later, and hook them horns.